This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll discuss what Jesus means when he uses the term fishers of men. First, let's see how he used the term. And he saith to them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to be fishers of men. Matthew 4, 19 Not a whole lot to go on, but it does tell us three things. First, they weren't previously fishers of men. Second, Jesus planned to make them fishers of men. Finally, it was Jesus who made them fishers of men. So we know that whatever the term refers to, it's something that was added to the lives of the apostles as a result of their association with Jesus. But many of them who had heard the word believed, and the number of the men was made 5,000. Acts 4.4 4. A nice big catch. This part is pretty obvious, but why fishers? Even today, people get upset about being compared to sea life, and surely fish caught by fishermen end up getting killed and eaten, right? This is where the analogy becomes interesting. Yes, fish end up dead, and they die more quickly due to being caught, just as many early Christians died early deaths for the faith. But they would have died anyway, and if they died in the ocean, they would probably have just been eaten by some less intelligent creature. In being caught, a fish is brought up into a larger world and serves a greater purpose for a being more complex and intelligent than anything in their underwater home. Through its death, the fish gains a role much greater than it could have had otherwise. The only imperfect thing about this analogy is that as far as we know, fish don't come back from the dead at a later date due to having been caught. Aside from that, the analogy is spot on. Next, can we correctly say that Jesus has given us something? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm.